Um, the principal goal of canning is to produce a shelf stable product. You know, you want to extend the shelf life of, of produce. And so you process it so that you can put it on the shelf and it doesn't spoil and you can safely eat it months later. Um, when we talk about shelf stable process, processing for shelf stable foods at home, we're talking about using this mason jar, which has a two piece lid, like you can see on the right side of the screen. Um, it has that, that flat metal lid that goes on top of the jar and then the screw band. And on the left side, you can see a few sizes that um, you might be familiar with if you've already been canning. And if not, these are typically the sizes of the home canning jars that you would use. So the principles of home canning. So food is placed in a jar and it's heated. And this will destroy microorganisms that might cause the food to spoil, and it will inactivate enzymes that will continue that will continue to um, cause the fruit or vegetables to ripen. So, in this process of heating the food in the jar, air is driven from the jar during the heating process, and then as the jar cools, a vacuum is formed. And this vacuum holds the lid on the jar, and by holding the lid on the jar, it will prevent any recontamination of food inside of the jar. It also prevents air from drying out the food. So in other words, um, the jars are heated and cooled and the pressure outside of the jar is greater than inside of the jar. And that causes that lid to sort of get pushed down on. And if you look at the picture on the top, the lid is sort of curved upward, whereas down below it's curved inward. And that inward curve is a sign that you have a tight vacuum. There's a soft sealing compound around the rim of the flat lid that we are talking about on top of this jar. And when you get a tight vacuum seal, that soft compound forms a nice tight, um, helps form that tight seal around the jar. And this creates your airtight seal. So when a vacuum seal is formed, it will prevent any recontamination inside of the jar. Failure to adequately heat process any, anything in your canning jar means that you might um, have a seal failure, uh, their food will spoil, and you might have health risks. So it's really important that you adequately heat process your food and make sure that you have a tight seal. And we'll talk about what adequate heat processing, processing means as we go further 